design design a code converter which actually works based on let to say based on following table okay Table. Let's see what's the table and how it should work. So in the table, you actually have, okay, so this is a table. So you have actually four inputs for your code converter, which is, you see the labels x3, x2, x1 and x0 so this is actually definitely the input of the code converter okay and the output is actually 8 bit which we give the name for each of them start with d7 d6 d5 d4 d d3 d2 D1, D0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, that's right. So this is input of the code converter. This is output. Let to see what we have. So definitely whenever you have four input, how many different scenario you could have here is 16, right? I just list all that 16 different cases. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven, eight, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay. So then, yeah, I don't know, could I separate this? Okay, I have to write it down and see what's happening. So then the next one should be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So the next one should be one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. One, two, one, two, and one, two. And the last one definitely should be zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, Z. Yeah, zero. Yeah, that's actually the problem, right? So that's better to do this. Yeah, I believe it's really tough with these pen. You have the table like this, but I try my best. Okay. Yeah, so see, this is the problem here. Okay, almost. So zero, yeah, it should be, this should be one. Again, zero, one, zero, one, zero, okay. We made actually the old possible 16 cases that able to happen, okay. So here for this, so it could be any codes, okay, because it is somehow is the memory. So see, I just put random numbers for each of these and show what, why it should be a memory. So see, for example, if this is a case, you have 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay, I just put the random bit pattern for each of these. 
So here you should have one, one, zero, zero, one, zero, one, zero. So here one, zero, one, zero, 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 zero. For the next zero, 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 one. This is one, this is zero, one, zero. So this is zero, 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 one. One zero one. Just these are the random. I only put a bit pattern inside each of these. So the whole zero for this. One zero 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 one for this. One one zero 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 zero. Zero one zero 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 zero. Zero one zero zero one zero one zero one zero one zero one one zero one zero 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 and one zero one and zero 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 the rest should be I just put zero 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 and again zero 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 one and for the last one I put actually the whole zero. okay so see this is you want to actually design a code converter based off this table what it table actually tells to us it says okay you have this code here which is four bits, right? So this table says, okay, whenever you have zero, so the, your output of the code converter should be this code, okay? Zero, one, three, zero, one, zero, zero. Whenever you have this as an input, this should be this, the output should be this code. Similar, that means your code converter should be work based off this table. Whenever you have input, whatever you have here as an input, the output should be the corresponding actually output based of this table that you see. So if I could design that, uh, yeah, you could do, how, how come two has, two has too many ones? What do you mean two has too many ones? You mean the D or you are talking about these X? Which one? You are talking about the D, about the X. So, so here it shouldn't be. So see, whenever you have four bits for X, you have four bit input, right? So how many different bit pattern you could make? You could actually make two power four, which is 16. So which I start with the zero, one, this is two, this is uh, which one you say is wrong look at the second one so one that i double check the, all of them so if it should be first one should be zero this is right this is this is one zero one two three four five six seven so then should be eight so this is definitely wrong okay so this should be eight yeah, that's the reason. One, two, three, four. I shouldn't put five, zero. This should be actually the eight. So then the next one should be, let I just check in this way. So the next should be nine, definitely. So this is wrong. Yeah, I actually somewhere I mix up. So seven, eight, this should be nine, right? So this should be zero, zero, nine. The next should be 10. So definitely this is not right. So the next one should be 10. Just see, this is 8. This is 8 plus 1. This is 9. That's right. So the next should be 10, which is this is 10. The next one should be 11. Yeah, I actually mixed up here. So you see, 4, 0, 4, 1 should be 4, 0. That's the problem. So then we have 10 here. We have 10. This is 11, that's right, 12. So then we have ter we have 12, 13. So we have 14, 15. Yeah, right now should be fine. Is, is this fine right now? Yeah, right now it looks actually right. So 
if again you see any mistake anywhere just type on the chat box i double check that yes see that this is i i should say four zero four one four zero which is i put again one which is definitely wrong right so right now see the two zero two one two zero two one two zero two one two zero yep should be fine so and here you actually don't need to any pattern just as random codes that i put okay i want to tell whenever you design a what con converter like this somehow this is a memory right why so you consider this as as one memory or ram which is each line is eight bits right so each of these is the eight bit number so this is actually the structure of the ram right the read only i'm talking about the read only memory so eight bits and you have from zero which is is for each of them has one specific address i give the address as zero zero this is one this is zero zero maybe that's better don't write the binary numbers but it's definitely it's binary but Maybe is that's more easier to just say this is the address zero, this is one, this is two, and end up with the last byte which is fifteen, right? So this is how memory works, right? Your memory usually has one cells. We call each of them one cells. Each cell is able to keep eight bit data, right? So, and each of these bits has the unique address. So here the unique address is 0 to 15. If you want to write the, any data on these bits, you address CPU say, okay, in address 0, write these 8 bits. So in address 1, write these specific 8 bits. In address 2, it's you need to write this. Even if you could read, right? If this is read-only memory, so that means we already wrote some data here which is these data that you see so for example whatever you have as a second one i could actually write it down so see each of these information that you have is somehow is your data for example we could say in address one we have one three zero right three zero one zero one zero one zero and for same thing for all others okay so that means i already wrote these data on this read-only memory so right now whenever i want to read i know the address right whenever i give the address zero zero should be somehow go to your this eight bit should be your output right so that means the output should be this bit pattern that you see so that means what I want to tell here, the code converter, actually you could use that to make a memory. Right? So whatever you have as an input, you consider that as a, your address and any bit pattern that you put here as your output, this is actually you could consider as a data that you have inside these one cells. So whenever I give any address, I'm able to read the data that I have. For example, whenever I give address seven, which is zero one one zero, so I able should be see this data, which is two one six zero on the output, which is somehow I read that, right? So this actually shows the the second application of the code converter. So whenever you have the code converter, somehow it is somehow it's actually a read only memory okay so now we want to see how we could design this because right now we know okay it could be work as a read only memory so the question is how you could make a code converter that able to convert these codes to these codes that you see so for doing that we actually use the used exactly the same design method that we did in previous example for seven segment okay so you can see that actually each of these inputs as a one mid term so definitely four zero should be mid term zero right so the next one this is zero zero one 
I don't have room. That's better to write here. I'm writing in the other side of this table. So 0, 0, 1 definitely is M1. So the next is M2. The next is M3. The next is M4. The next is M5. The next is M6. The next is M7. The next is M8. The next is M9. The next is M10. So the next is just, yeah, that's right. So this is M11. The next is M12. The next is M13. The next is M14. And the next is 15. Okay. So which is I just see these four zero and write the corresponding mid term. So now I actually take a look to the this table based of this is the input and this is output, right? I say okay, if we decode there, I could make these take these codes and make these mid terms, right? We did exactly the same thing here whenever we want to design the BC to seven segment, how we could make this midterm with use the decoder, right? So then you actually take a look, whatever you have, you have one side midterm and the other side, these are specific codes for making that you put actually one or for each of these column and make a connection whenever that column is one. So this is the same thing, right? So you see, this is almost the same thing. And I'm doing the same thing. So that means first I need to use a decoder to able to take these four x zero to x three and produce the midterm. So you tell me should be the size of the decoder to do that. The decoder should be three by eight or four by sixteen. What do you think? So first, definitely, I need a decoder. So you will tell me, just type on the chat box, what should be the, yeah, 416. Why? The reason is because you have four input in this code converter, right? That's, uh, that's why you need 4216. So I put 4216. So this is actually the 416 decoder. So this is decoder 4 to 16. So what I put here in the input, which is x0, x1, x2, x3. So you tell me, what is the output of the decoder? What will be the output of the decoder? Is the midterms, right? So that means you will have 16 midterms. So I just draw that 16. So this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 15, you find, right? You have 0 to 15. So just use other colors, just write which is which. So this is M0, this is M1, this is M2, this is M3, this is M4, this is M5, this is M6, this is 7, and this is 8, this is 9, this is 10. This is 11, this is 12, this is 13, this is 14, and this is 15. Okay, 
So that means I made this part of the table. So see, I give a, I give a input. So then I have these midterms. So now I need to know how I could actually convert these midterms to these codes that we have, which you already know. For each of these columns, you consider one OR gauge. Check the column wherever it is one. It should be just have the connection over there. So exactly the similar things that what we did here. And again, is exactly similar with how you could design the encoder, right? So see the same thing. Whenever we design an encoder, usually the table is look like this. You have the midterm, and for each of these midterm, you should get the specific codes. For each of these, you consider the OR, and the connection is where that column is a one, okay? We used exactly the same thing here. So I put actually for all of them one gate or gate, which is you have seven outputs. So definitely you need to seven or gate. So this is one. So this is two. So I'm not going to write all of them, just few of them. You could take care of the rest, okay? I do just four of them. So if you consider these D zero, this should be D seven, should be D six, it should be D five. The rest you could take care of that. It should be similar with these four that I'm actually drawing here. So back to, to D seven. So just remember what we have here. So you have just check these column wherever it is one, it should be get the connection. So see, I have here one, two, okay? So I have one, two, then I have six, seven. So one, two, six, seven. So this is one, this is two, this is six, this is seven, okay, six, seven. So again, back to your table, we put these two, these two, which is six, seven. So here again, that actually is eight plus two, which is 10, and here is 11, and here is 12. So 10, 11, 12. So back here, 10, 11 and 12 and see what we have after this and the last one again which is 15 right so you put actually the connection on a 15 okay so similar with the others i don't know doing just you take care of the rest i just do the d02 then leave the rest to you okay for d0 you just check the column for d0 so you have one, which is M4 here, M4 and M6, M4 and M6. So find M4, this is three, this is four. M4 and M6, M4 and six. Yeah, that's right, four and six. So four and six, what else we have? 15, right? We have 15 and the rest should be 15, okay? You could do the rest for the other, which is D1 to six in the same way, right? You just check the columns, wherever it is one, it should be actually the connection should be here. If you want to check that, which is works or not, you could check from here. Whenever I give four zero, so see I have a connection in D6 and just in D2. So that means D6 gate, which is connected to D6 and to D2, the input will be one. Whenever in the OR gates, the one input is one, definitely output is one. So that means the D2 and D6 will be one. And the rest, because the all of the rest, there is no connection. So that means the all of them will be zero. So that means you will get zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero, zero. That's the reason whenever you 
you just take a look to the column whenever that's one you just actually make a connection okay so that's what you see here which you could do the same thing for d6 to d1 which as i already mentioned you could actually consider that as a read only memory which is the input is the address whenever you actually give any specific address you're able to read that data that you have in that specific address right here for example in address one you have these data which is just one byte right eight bit is one byte okay so which is shows how code converter is very useful so somehow shows the application of the decoder and encoder which we use both of them to make a code converter Thank you.